Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are we are gonna do a versus video between the DeWalt Atomic Brushless Single Hand Recip Saw against the new Ryobi HP Single Handed Recip Saw. Now hack saws, if you will. When it comes to their actual Ryobi's promotional video that they uh, uploaded and live streamed on YouTube, I think that they actually went against the DeWalt Atomic. What I want to actually do is I want to do a control battery with the six amp hour HP. And then we're going just, just to see what the difference is between using the six amp, uh, the six amp hour flex volt from DeWalt on the Ryobi. Then we're going to actually do, uh, do the, the time comparison between these two. All right. So I want to see if the actual, if the flex volt will actually perform better than the HP battery. We're going to find that out in this video. All right, so I uploaded this video a long time ago, you know, when it comes to getting the adapter to use on a, on a Ryobi tool. And I'll put that right here. Sorry, it's been six, seven months since I actually uploaded the first video of this adapter. So we're actually gonna do a follow-up in this video. So this is gonna be a good one. And yeah, so let's take a look at the tools really quick just to show you what they look like and, uh, and then let's get to the test. All right, so this is the DeWalt Atomic. We are gonna be using the 6 amp hour FlexVolt battery battery is full this is model number dcs 369 compact reciprocating saw and yes a zero to, oh this one's actually zero to 2800 strokes per minute all right so i was wrong on that this is zero to 2800 strokes per minute so the ryobi actually has 200 strokes per minute more than the dewalt so i i love compact tools you know especially 12 volt you know but the the atomic is the compact versions of the dewalt and so yeah single LED light on the bottom and so yeah this uh, it's crazy fast but the power it just isn't there when it comes to other videos I did against uh, did with this but yeah that is the DeWalt Atomic all right so for the Ryobi this one this is brand new this is their new Ryobi HP line com compact series and so, yeah, this is model number PSBRS01, 18 volt system, zero to 30, uh, zero to 3,000 strokes per minute. And so, yeah, this is, this is actually crazy fast. This has a quick insert collet for the blade. You just, it has this, uh, the switch right there. Then you just put your blade in, then it locks into place on the DeWalt. You actually need to go in here and twist that, then you can put your blade in. So yeah, so let's do a versus video against these uh, really quick. Let's see which one actually prevails. All right, remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. Got mine right here. So I got brand new Diablo six inch wood with nails blades. And I also got I also got 16D three and a half inch common nails. We're gonna add this to the test. All right, let's do the DeWalt first. There we go. That is in, that is installed correctly. Battery is full. All right, so let's see what this could actually do. Ready, go. Time, 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 time. Let's see what the Ryobi can do. A quick insert like that, like that. I do not know if the shoe is adjustable. It does have uh, articulating shoe, but I'm, I am not sure if that's adjustable. I do not see any Allen key or anything like that to adjust it. The shoe might be set in as is. All right, so ready, go. Time. I do not know what the results are. I find that out during the editing of the video. Let's see how well it does cutting it lengthwise. All right, so ready. Go. Time. 
time. All right, Ryobi is next. All right, so ready? Go. Times. All right, let's whip out a uh, four by six. There we go. Do the Dewalt first. All right, four by six. Battery is still full. All right, so ready, go. Time. Wow, that took a while. What's the battery after that? Still three bars. Quick temperature reading. 81 degrees. 81 degrees. All right, so let's do the Ryobi. Let's see on how well the Ryobi does. Battery is full. All right, so ready? Go. I let go of the trigger, I'm sorry. That was my bad. Time. Now both of both of those tools took a while. Both of those tools took a while. I want to give you guys a quick example. M12 hatchet. Battery is at two bars. Battery's at two bars. Alright, so ready? Go. time. I just want to do that really quick just to show you guys that when it comes to a hacksaw, a single-handed hacksaw, when it comes to wood, I suggest this. Alrighty, so what we are going to do is we are actually going to install three nails. This is actually a very awkward position, but three and a half inch, like I said. One, two, and three. And let's mark off where three inches is. Three inches stops right here. Three and a half inches, sorry. 
All right, so ready? Go. Time. Let's do a temperature reading though. 126 degrees the DeWalt got so far. Let's see what this can do. All right, I have until about right here. This is where the, the nails run. So we're just gonna do one more, one cut with the, one more cut. All right, so ready, go. Alrighty, so let's do a temperature reading on this. 109 degrees. The real we got 109. Alrighty, but like I said, I wanted to do a test with the six amp hour HP. Let's see what the difference is between that and the flex volt. All right, so right here is good. We still have about two and a half inches of nail left in the wood. All right, so ready, go. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty impressed with this uh with this recip saw. I'm pretty impressed. I mean, like it didn't die. It didn't slow down. You know, like it slowed down, but I uh, actually released the trigger a little bit because it's variable trigger. And yeah, it actually is performing better than I thought it would. I it actually is. And we're gonna end that test with that. As you can see, we still have an additional inch and a half of nails left. which there they are, nail, nail, nail. We still have about it, uh, an inch and a quarter left of nail, so. So already for the next test, we are gonna cut a one inch black steel pipe. Let's see on how well these do against this. So after we do this, we're gonna cut a two and a half, half inch galvanized pipe, two and a quarter inch, sorry, go. And I do have two brand new uh, Avanti Pro metal cutting blades. Let's do the DeWalt Atomic first. Battery is still full. Now these, both of these cool down big time. I let them cool down for about a half, half an hour, 30 minutes. All right, so ready, go. Time. Now I like that articulating shoe. That's nice because as you can see, it went with the curve. That's good to have. That is good to have. Okay, so let's do the. Oh, we gotta switch out batteries. With the adapter, put the Dewalt battery back in. Perfect. All right, so let's see what this can do. Oh, battery still is full. I think I just ruined that blade. Put the metal cutting blade in. Go right here. New line. 
All right, so ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. All right, so let's uh, whip out the uh, two and a quarter inch. Let's see what this can do. All right, so ready? Go. Let's do the Ryobi, see what this can do. And then after this, I'm gonna slap in the six amp hour HP and let's see what the time is for the HP battery. All right, so right here is good. All right, so ready. Oh, sorry, battery's full. Ready, go. I don't know about you, but that seemed a little bit faster. That seemed a little bit faster. Yeah, it's doing good. No smoking, no nothing. It's doing good. All right, so for the final, final test, let's do the six amp hour HP battery. Battery is full still. All right, so ready, go. Wow, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. All right, so I actually give Ryobi props for this tool. This tool actually is an extremely good tool. I, I do not know what the test results are. I found that out during the editing of the video, but I will say that th this actually is a good tool. Like no smoking, no nothing. Now, I did not do duration you know, like running this for like an hour straight or, or doing like 50, 60 cuts in a row. But you got to admit that this is, it's a, like, these are hardcore stress tests. And it actually did a good job. It did a good job. Now, I don't know anyone that's going to cut like 100 cuts in a row on within like 10 minutes or 20 minutes. You're going to cut like probably six or seven cuts and then that's it, you know, then use it later on. You know, th this isn't like a drill where, where you're drilling like a uh, couple hundred screws a day or more. So it, 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 it did a good job. They, Ryobi actually did a good job when it comes to this recip saw. So yeah, the DeWalt did a good job as well. You know, the, you know like uh, everyone hates the Atomic Line, but I give, I give the Atomic Line props because it's their compact series with, the, with having it 20 volt. A slash 18 volt and so so yeah so it, it's the atomic really is a good one as well alrighty so <clears throat> surprisingly both of these actually did a great job against each other now like I said I do not know what the results are until I edit the video now we are gonna do more versus videos with these against other brands I really didn't get too much into single handed recip saws yet but I will be and so yeah so these actually did really well Ryobi did a great job building this tool and yes the tool did not 
fry up in any way using a DeWalt battery with the Ryobi tool. So yeah, the, I will be getting more adapters because I actually want to see in how other batteries perform on different tools. When it comes to how, uh, when it comes to if, if it'll fry the tool out, so I'm going to get as many adapters as I can to go along with other batteries that don't belong in the tool. So I think that's going to be a, uh, I think that's going to be a good one. This video was actually fun to do because uh, I was uh, seriously curious in how well that this would go against the tool that they actually, that Ryobi actually put into their own video. They, they painted it white or something like that. Spray painted it white, and so it was the DeWalt Atomic that they used in their uh, in their versus video when they uploaded it. So, so yeah. So if you found this video helpful, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.